Hi, and welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna be doing a Harry Potter sorting hat, and I hope you love it. <laughs> so at first, I was gonna decorate this hat and like paint, paint it black and bedazzle it with these. They are super cute. But I had another idea because I saw the shape of the hat and I was like, hmm, this could be a great sorting hat. So now I'm gonna make a Harry Potter sorting hat. I am gonna use this acrylic paint. Um, I think it's called Espresso. Espresso Espresso. Okay, so I'm gonna start with that much, just in case. I'm gonna grab my brush and just start painting my sorting hat. I'm so excited. So I applied my first coat of brown espresso, but now it's not completely dry yet, but I wanted to just go ahead and do another coat of brown. Ding, 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 ding. I wish I could listen to that music right now because I usually listen to that, like Harry Potter um, soundtrack when I'm working on my crafts. But unfortunately, we cannot play that on YouTube. YouTube will not allow me to record with that not sound on. I use exactly the amount of paint I needed. I'm super happy about that because I hate wasting um, paint. I know it's like super cheap. I know that but I still don't like wasting it. I'm like that kind of person It looks so pretty. I love it. Okay, so I'm really gonna let this one dry because I'm gonna come in with um, A little bit of darker brown to get the shadows in and start his face for my next step I Went on the internet and I searched a couple of Harry Potter photos like this one just to see more or less how the hat will look this somebody drew this this is not mine at all but just for reference and then when i saw this um hat i looked at it and i was like oh my gosh like i remember that scene and this is exactly the scene that i remember um when i saw the hat so this is like more or less how i want to draw it too like with the lips a little bit to the side kind of like off not really centered um, and I think that's probably gonna be my best angle because it kind of looks see kind of has like that same angle even though this one's a little bit pointier but you know it's not gonna be completely realistic but we're just gonna try to get as close as we can to it so this is what I do with pretty much any um, Disney Universal any kind of cartoon stuff or um, any movie things that I want to do, I look up the picture and then I try to like use one picture to make up my design. It goes up, down, up. I'm gonna do the mouth. And I see that more or less there's like a line coming from this end and it goes up and it goes this way. So I'm kind of, I'm going to mimic a little bit that line. And to shape the nose, I'm going to add stuff here. But I'm going to do that with the actual paint because I don't want to ruin this. <laughs> here I put a little bit of brown in here because I don't want to make it too dark. So we're just gonna give that a little swirly swirl. I am going to kind of like try to do a little bit of dry brushing.
I got this wooden piece at Michael's and it was the only one they had left. And the only reason why I got it is because my girls did a pumpkin. And I was like, I want to bedazzle something too. That's not fair. Because, you know, I'm the youngest child in this house. So I had to, um, I, I bought this, uh, this hat thinking I was going to bedazzle it, as I told you guys before. But um, after I saw it, I'm like, Harry Potter? Yes. Is that a Harry Potter sorting hat? And then... I was like, yes, it is. So here I am making my dreams come true. This is a cheap way of getting a Harry Potter um, decoration. To add light, what I'm gonna do is use some gold paint. They were gonna try to dry brush it in. You kind of want to blend that in a little bit. Use your finger if you have to. I could have gone with some brown, lighter brown to do the highlighting, but I just love highlighting with gold because it's gorgeous. I mean, it gives it like that Harry Potter feel too because I feel like a lot of Harry Potter things have gold in it. And um, yeah, it gives it that Harry Potter look we're going for. So, I love it. Pretty much everywhere that we created a shadow kind of has a highlighter highlighting as well because that's what creates a dimension. And yeah, please let me know in the comments what else you guys want to see, if there's uh, something specific you want to see. Uh, and check out my Instagram. I have a lot of stuff over there because that's where I usually post. Oh my goodness, he is so cute. He is adorable. Oh my goodness. I know, I'm freaking out. Alrighty, guys, I am done. This is completely gorgeous. I am so happy with my finished product. I am obsessed. I love Harry Potter and I'm gonna be adding this to my little shelf in my office. Isn't he, isn't he cute? Look, like I said, let me know in the if you like this video. Give it a thumbs up, please. It will help me a lot. And um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. See you next time.